right guys today's project uh we're gonna be doing timing chains tensioners and guides on this 3.5 ecoboost i believe this is a 2013 f-150 king ranch everything step by step it's a very long job uh, basically first step is going to be getting all of the charge pipes intake pipes all of that stuff off the front of the engine uh, this is twin turbo so there is a lot of stuff to get off all right so we got all the boost pipes off all the coolant lines starting to work on the wiring we got to work on the high pressure fuel line that's got to come off and then next we got to work on getting the air conditioning belt off there's no way to tension it it's a stretch belt so we have to walk it off all right so we got the valve covers off the high pressure fuel pump front cover and the belt water pump all that stuff Our marks are right there so we're going to take all of the guides and the chains off and we'll show you where the marks line up when we get the new chains on all right so we got the passenger side phasers off and since it's passenger side there's the r to the colored link and then the dot right there to the other colored link the new chain has the same exact colors. If you notice on the big chain, we now have there's, that goes toward one dot on the phaser. That go those two go around the dot on the crankshaft. And then there's another one right there. On the stock chain, there is only one. So when we get this new one on, we'll show you where these dots line up. But for now, we're going to replace both phasers uh, with the chains and new tensioners and guides. All right, so we got the new chains, tensioners, guides, all that on. And I'm going to show you the marks. That link goes to that dot. That link goes to that dot. And down there, that dot goes in between those two colored links. And I got most of the gasket surfaces cleaned up. And we're about to put everything back together. All right, so we got the front cover back on, water pump, AC belt, which sucked, uh, new valve cover gaskets, kind of, uh, all new seals around the variable timing, solenoids, spark plug, tube seals, uh, went heavy on the silicone in where the gaps are, where the head and the cover meet, they don't line up just right, the upper ones won't leak. Be the ones down right there. So next, we got to do the high pressure fuel pump. We have to rotate it, the engine around until the camshaft has a, the flat spot on it, and then you put the roller in and then bolt the pump down. Then, after that, it's all the little small stuff. Uh, putting the alternator back on the back side of the lower bracket, there's a nut you have to take a hammer and knock that. Uh, nut back out so the alternator will slide back over All right guys, we had put everything back together every hose boost pipe Water hose water lines all that and ran it everything was good. Uh, we had a noise 
and we were fairly confident that the noise wasn't coming from any of the timing components so we pulled the serpent the main serpentine belt off and cranked it back up and the noise went away so we checked all of the pulleys and the water pump was making a grinding noise so had to wait on to get a new one and of course the new one is different than the old one you have to change pulleys and just stuff like that but when we had it cranked up everything ran good everything drove good it we had plenty of oil pressure uh, on the valve cover gaskets the ones we could own the ones we could find were a little bit different so we had to modify the passenger side rear So now we're going to put the new water pump on, which goes right there. I'm going to clean everything up, put the new water pump on, bolt all this stuff back together, all the chase, charge pipes, boost pipes, whatever, coolant, top it off with coolant, and then I'll take it for a ride. All right, guys, we've got the water pump back on, uh, fired it up. We had a couple leaks, uh, one coolant line going to the upper side of the oil cooler, clamp wasn't on, uh, a couple small oil leaks, um, the spark plug tube grommet, I uh, had one that uh, didn't seat right, so I took care of that, uh, it's been driven several times today, everything worked out good, uh, this wasn't a long video explaining every step, uh, we're trying to knock it out in a weekend, which is kind of tough, when it's raining and you're outside and all that stuff, um, but if you have any questions on anything specific, like the valve cover gaskets or the serpentine belt for the air conditioner or the timing marks uh, further explained, just uh, leave a comment down below. And um, if this helped you out at all, go ahead and like this video. And I'd appreciate it if you wanted to subscribe too.